Hi, I'm Tiam Seng. Welcome to another Aviva E3D How To. We are going to route some cables using the cabling system. First, let's add our cableway that we created during the part one of this video into our view. We cannot see the cableway because the representation is not set. Let's set it to 25% translucent. There we have it, the cable way. Let's route some control cables from the pump to the junction box. We start by using create cable. The cable way application allow us to put the description for this cable. Proximity distance is the distance the system will try to find a connection point. Next, we can set the start access length and extra length and the end access length and extra length. We will now select the cable from the specification. Next, we will define the start and end point. We start by selecting the equipment and the electrical connector on this equipment will be displayed. Choose the electrical connector that you want to connect to. Electrical connectors are just like nozzles to pipe. We do the same thing for the junction box. We apply the changes and we are ready to route. We select the world as a dimension search and then we use auto root cable. We have an error message because the start and end point couldn't find points for the cable to root, like cable way attachment point. So for this case, what we can do is to increase the proximity distance. Remember to apply after changing the proximity distance. Let's route again. This time, you can see that the cable has routed successfully. Because the distance is so near, it has used free routing. So let's edit our points. Let's add another point. Let's create another point along the base position at further north. You can see the dotted lines where the new point will be. So let's create the point. The next we need to do is to modify the last two points in our routing.
we can lock the certain axis and we use copy previous and modify the north position that's it a proper cable route has been created now let's route some cables along the cableway we are going to route from the junction box to the distribution box let's start by creating the cable Creating the cable is just like creating a branch in piping. We just have to define the start point and the end point. Unlike piping, the start point and end point does not have a direction. For this routing, I will select the routing on the cable demo zone. We have the same message as before. Do you know how to resolve this? The cable is now routed, but you will notice the cable always enter the cableway at the start or end point or any attachment point that you can find in the cableway. Perhaps there should be an exit point near the distribution box. So we are going to create a root attachment point and we will reroute the cable again. So we select the branch task and go on to create root attachment point. I'm just using an extension to position the road attachment point. Next, we will create another cableway for the cable exit point. If you cannot remember how to create cableway, you can look up at our previous video on creation of cableway. With the new cableway, let's reroute the cable again. That's better. Hope you like our video and remember to subscribe.